Sunderland's team selection against Doncaster in the Czech Hatre Trophy proves youth are not getting a chance. Sunderland's participation in the Czech Hatre Trophy has been a completely pointless exercise. So far this season the Black Cats under 21s have taken part in two group games and lost both. Having analyzed how each of them played out I am struggling to understand the point of us being in it in it all. Just 1,520 people made it along to Tuesday's game in Doncaster, with less than 100 of those in the crowd making the trip down from the northeast. On the pitch, Doncaster made eight changes to the side that lost at the weekend in the league against Bradford, while Sunderland's youth side contained four players that are considered first-teamers. The benefit of the Black Cats' involvement in the lower league competition is apparently so that our youngsters can gain experience of playing men's football in a more physical and intense environment. But I struggle to see how taking part in a game against Doncaster's reserves in front of a sparse crowd on a Tuesday night is anything other than a glorified friendly. The priority is quite clearly less about developing our young players and more about giving minutes on the pitch to first-teamers that aren't getting a kick for Simon Grayson's side in the championship. We've lost in both games that we've taken part in so far and we're now officially out of the competition, with a dead rubber tie away at Grimsby next month all that we have left on the agenda. What was gained from our entry into it? Seeing that Jack Rodwell was playing out of position at centre half alongside a lad who really should have been loaned out this season made me despair when I read the team sheet. Why are we prioritising the fitness work of the likes of Rodwell, Brendan Galloway and Mika over giving game time to players in our youth setup that would genuinely appreciate the chance to play in a more competitive environment? There seems to be a problem with youth development at Sunderland. If we see that it's important to give these young lads the experience of playing men's football, why aren't more of them out on loan, making their own way in the professional game? I see little sense in Thomas Robson taking up a spot on the U21s bench when he's old enough to be out playing somewhere. Andrew Nelson played for Hartlepool last season before succumbing to injury, is it really within his best interests being held back playing against players around his own age in the Premier League 2 when we know he can hold his own in League 2? And Tom Beedling spent some time on loan at Barry earlier in the year and did fairly well. Why is he back here? It can only be to make up the numbers because it doesn't seem best for his development to be playing U23s football when he could be playing competitively somewhere down the leagues. Maybe that'll change come January, but I do worry about how often we hold these lads back from taking in loan spells at clubs further down the ladder that can afford them minutes on the pitch in games that count for something. You really do have to question the reasons behind our participation in the event if we never intended to take it seriously. Twitter at Roker Report. Facebook, Roker Report.